have this crotch pocket. It's not gonna hold much. I mean, like pockets on most women's clothes, it holds like two condoms and a couple of dreams. <laughs> Here's the deal with plus size clothes. The bigger you get, the greater amount of variation there is when it comes to how your fat is distributed, which means that shopping for clothes can be really tough. So you'll put on a pair of pants and it'll fit in the waist and then nowhere else. And you'll be like, cool, I guess that's the end for me and pants. I learned that there were a whole bunch of stores online that customize clothes to your sizes. So I wanted to try three of these services and see how their clothes compare. E Shakti, Rita Phil, and Sumasura. I pick some stuff I want to wear online and then I give them my measurements. And then two to three weeks later, I get a box full of clothes cut from a bod. Obviously, I want to pick things where the fit is going to be essential. Anything where if it doesn't fit correctly, it just means I hate the shirt for four months before I give it to Goodwill. We would like to stop that cycle. So let's find out if we can order custom sized clothing from the internet. The worst place on earth. I'm trying to place all these orders, but apparently all of them need extremely extensive body measurements. And that's gonna require a friend. Hi. This is one is gonna attempt to guess my body measurements. I guess, I don't know, full. Large. Yeah, we have to do it ourselves. I don't, so I'm not a tailor. I don't <laughs> actually know how to measure people. The shoulders are hard because there's no defined point where it ends and begins. My breast point is 12.5. What do you mean inconsistent? <laughs> we detected some of your measurements are out of range. Please have a different body. If I gave them a measurement they thought was wrong, they were like, no. Turns out my torso is too long for my body. It also explains why Devin and I are the same height in videos, even though she's like six inches taller than me, when we're sitting down. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess it's easier to frame you in camera. It means that my legs are always dangling off the chair. <laughs> oh my God. You basically have to give them the circumference of the earth. Mike, what is hip at crotch? I don't know. Hold on, wait. You're gonna have to get in my crotch. You're just gonna have to eyeball. I mean, like, it's like right here. Uh huh. So not only you're getting right on my crotch, you're also getting right under my butt. Like right there. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry. It's just not an angle you don't usually fixate on. Um, That's unfortunate. God, your hands are so close to my butt right now. I, just, I don't know how else to do this. I know. <laughs> what the hell is total rise? Oh, so you have to ride the tape measure like a pony. It looks uncomfortable. I, I can't imagine how uncomfortable it's gonna be for you. You're gonna be the one holding the tape measure. <laughs> So I gotta straddle this. You, you sure do. Yeah, you gotta pull a little tighter. You gotta wedge it more. Ah, how's that feel? <laughs> Feels like the cost of beauty, my friend. Okay, so this place just wants my waist, my hips, and my thighs, and then also my height, and then two images of me while wearing fitted clothing. This is basically a Tinder profile. The first package I got was from Sumasura. It's very Jessica Rabbit goes on a job interview. It feels good, it feels pretty substantial. One of these days they're gonna invent a dress that you can zip without needing to be in a relationship. So this dress is cut too big. I can stick my arm in here. It's got like these two little false hips. It feels like it's cut in the shape of a woman. Even though like I'm not really filling out that part. <laughs> Literally I'm grabbing like a fistful of fabric in the back and now it fits. I even measured this dress to this specific bra. I could rent this room out, make some extra income. How did I give them so many measurements? And yet all of them are wrong. I think I spent like at least four or five hours doing all the measurements for all these clothes. I didn't half-ass this. And in exchange, they gave me way too much ass. Item number two. So pants have always been a weird thing for me. Finding a cropped pant for a short person is the holy grail of shopping. I like this print, the print is cute. These pants are also too big. That's my fist. That gapping in the back is, is way worse. If this was a construction site, I would definitely put a sign there so people would not fall in. They are the right height though, so be careful what you wish for. If you had wanted to join me in that pair of pants, we could have made it work. Every step I take, the closer these pants come to being just leg warmers. The way these thighs are cut, it's like they think my butt goes down to my knees. It looked like these two garments were well made. It's just that they were not well made for me. I was kind of disappointed. I feel like after all those measurements and all of that, are you sure it would have been like a really well-fitting garment? However, Sumasura does have a perfect fit guarantee, meaning that you can take it to a tailor and they will pay for the cost of the tailoring. 
and if it can't be altered, then they will remake it for you. So I was reassured to see that they do have a pretty good alterations policy. I've ordered pizzas that are thicker than this. The next box I opened was from E Shakti. So the first thing we've got is this romper. I personally feel like this is gonna be the hardest thing to make fit because a romper needs to fit in like every place you can possibly imagine. It's pretty color, it feels pretty substantial. Got the little tuxedo pleats in the front. Are you a pocket? <gasps> Look at these pockets. It fits so well in so many other places that you actually can't tell I have a massive camel toe right now. It laid really nicely, it looked really cute, but I could feel it. The whole day it was like I was riding a rubber band. This is as high as my arm goes. <laughs> can't hail a cab, but everywhere else is good. Oh my God, it's just right up my butt. I feel like I'm being flossed. I can't bend over in it really, but it's so cute though. The sad thing is, is that I worry that if it was actually cut a little longer, it might not fit as well. Okay, I can sit down in the jumpsuit. As long as you're not staring directly into my crack, this works really well. You've got this shirt. It seems okay. It's a little bit more linen-y than I thought. I thought it would be more of a crisp shirt. We have this panel and that reveals the buttons. So even if it gaps a little bit, you still got the protective panel. Okay, this shirt is very cute. It fits around my boobs. It is way too big around my middle. It was like there was a whole convention center underneath my boobs. I gotta grab like this much to make it fit. And I can't just walk around all day with this much shirt in my fist. I do have a waist and I would like to see it. I am missing one item. My e Shakti order came in two separate packages and the rest of it is gonna have to wait. Got my last e Shakti box. The shift dress with the boat neck. The material is very soft, but it does have pockets. Okay, so this is kind of cute, but I have several questions. First of all, what is going on with this collar? I feel like 60s Dracula. No matter how much I pull this down, this collar goes up so high that you can actually see the tag. Everyone can see who made this for me. I feel like I'm walking around with my own band shell. It's weird, cause the rest of the measurements work. It is cute. I think it actually looks better on camera than it does in real life. I was definitely thinking of something I could wear to like a summer job interview. It still feels like pajamas. It didn't really have the appearance of a dress that was going to hold up to the test of time. I was a little disappointed with that because it did actually fit pretty well. E Shakti also has a pretty comprehensive return and guarantee policy. If you're not happy with the fit of your garment, you can get a refund or a gift card. Obviously, if you're not happy with it, you can return it. So the last box I opened was from Rita Phil. Skirts are all that Rita Phil makes right now, so. I got the skirts. So these skirts came in their own little carrying cases. They are prima donna skirts, apparently. I like this color. This color is very in right now. It's classy person's hot dog yellow. Holy crap, this is cute. I love it. It fits really well. It's a really cute color. It feels like it's made for my body. And it's not too short in the butt too. Cause usually what happens is the front is fine and then the back is a free show. In this mini skirt, you gotta pay to see the show. Look at that butt, good butt situation. Honestly, I've already worn this mini skirt like four times. I even got ice cream on it and I just wiped it off with water later and it dried just fine. Here's skirt two. This is the pencil skirt. Smells like professional woman. Are these functional pockets? No, they are not. <laughs> okay. There are two vents in the back, so I have a beautiful tail. Crap, okay, I was pulling at the bow and I just pulled the bow right out. Apparently the bow is just the ribbon that goes in the loop. How do I put the bow back in? I've had this skirt for 90 seconds. I'm trying to put this skirt on and I accidentally just took the bow out again. I didn't mean to, I just reached for it. All right, here's this pencil skirt. It's gorgeous. It fits well, it feels good. I love how this is cut. Feels very va ba boom. I'm gonna try on some heels. I still think it's a little long, but that's okay. On me, it is sort of one foot away from being a mermaid tail. I'm a business mermaid. Let's try sitting down in this skirt. Feels good. There's some stretch too. There's a little bit of wiggle. I didn't even think this was possible. I was looking at my silhouette from the side and I was just like, I am a new person. Rita Phil also has a pretty good return policy as well. They give you several options if the skirts don't fit. You can either get a $30 credit to a local tailor or a refund or they'll remake you the skirt. What a journey. 
Not really, I just tried some shit on. So I learned a lot actually about what it is that actually makes clothes fit well. The company that took the least number of measurements, they took four measurements, Rita Phil, did the best. Overall, I was surprised at how many fit issues I still had, but I was pleasantly surprised with some of the fits. And I definitely was reassured by the general policies about returns and tailoring. So it is worth taking a chance if you see something that you really do like. If you have the time and the energy to get it right, a well-fitting thing is the best thing you own.